What made you decide to study electrical engineering in college? Um, I wanted to be an executive, um, and so the experience I had growing up, I'd seen a lot of companies and managers, uh, junior executives, who came from an engineering background. So engineering seemed to be an appropriate place to start if I wanted to do that. Um, you know, now I would have to say, given more what I know, there's a, very, a whole variety of paths to do that, you know, ranging from the liberal arts to, I particularly think business schools can be very good at that, but I happen to choose engineering. Um, and then why electrical? Um, you know, a couple of reasons. One, um, I was interested in computers. They were taking off. Um, that was before they had computer engineering as a major. That's effectively what I ended up majoring in, but that wasn't quite around yet. Um, but more broadly, it was um, it involved a lot of the math that I really liked. And I think at the time I would have justified it as very instrumental, that this makes sense because these are skills I can use. I think in retrospect, what it afforded was an opportunity to really study as something I was passionate about. You know, do, do I use that math at all? No. Not, not a whole lot. You know, yes, I, I do a lot of computer programming. I, I do uh, a lot of discrete mathematics for my time at graduate school. But, you know, in terms of differential equations and, um, you know, Fourier transforms, that's not something I use every day. But to have that opportunity to really get passionate about the mathematics just for the essence of the mathematics itself, I'm really glad I had that experience. And so I, I learned a lesson that I didn't think I was going to learn there in retrospect.